Hi, my cyber babies. Welcome to the Mother Love Show. This beautiful young lady is Emily Peachy. She's an actress, new out here in California, two and a half years, and already is doing a, has done a movie with Ewan McGregor, the Scottish actor who is now directing. Welcome. Thank you for staying here with me for this show. I told you she was pretty. Oh. And y'all know me. I don't like working with ugly people. Oh. No, I'm serious. Do you, do you want to work with ugly people? And not just ugly physically, but you know, there are people in this business that have really ugly attitudes. Ugly personalities I don't like. You I know. agree with that. Mm -hmm. for sure. And so, as a, as a newbie out here, you know, when I hugged you, I was like, she smell all fresh. <laughs> you are brand new out here. You just have fresh flavor. It's, are, you, are you, because you did this all by yourself. What made you decide to come by yourself? I think it was just time. Mm -hmm. I just, I got a part in a movie my first day of law school <laughs> to, to drop out and just pursue it. I was, it was a passion of mine and I was kind of at that phase where I was done with college and didn't know what I wanted to do and I was like, I'm going to have to do it now or I'm never going to do it. Right. So just, I just jumped. Now, do you have brothers and sisters? I'm an only child. Really? Oh, yes. I know. They just went crazy. Oh, just, they did. What? Honey, did you drop on the head? What? what this red lawyer. I'm an attorney. This is what I did. You my legacy. Yeah. And it was hard for them because I was moving so far away. So, so, uh, they got a Have cat. they been out here yet? Oh, yeah. They, they got <laughs> They replaced me with a cat. Honey, <laughs> honey, you're leaving? We can get a cat. <laughs> Usually they go buy a car. <laughs> they did not name the cat. They didn't. Oh. No, no, no. I would have no. been that. It's not that far. So bad. Not that far. <laughs> we but... got a cat. Her name is Emily. She's <laughs> not going anywhere. How about that, Missy? <laughs> but parents, they, parents will encourage you. Now that they've seen what you're doing, does your dad get what you're doing? Yes, they're so proud of me. Yes, my dad is so about it. I now. just met you and I'm proud of you. Oh, oh my gosh, you're so sweet. But yeah, now my dad um, is so about it. He's like, you know, oh, you have any auditions? Like, you know, how's, how's it going? Like, do you want me to read with you? He's so about it. It's adorable. How cool is it's that? It's really sweet. On Thanksgiving, I had an audition that I had to put on tape. And he's like, I'll read with you. And he did. And he did such a great job. And it was so sweet. From all the way from Virginia? Yes. You did this. Do you do it on Skype or do you do it? On well, I was back home for Thanksgiving. Oh, did you? Yes. So he's like, oh, I'll be your reading Partner, I'll do it. And I was like, okay. Was that so is sweet. so. Pr Did you get the part? I don't know yet. Uh, Hopefully, you, you got the part. You got we'll the say part. yes. Yeah, that, a better story. Put it out there in the universe. Yes. You got to put it out in the universe. <laughs> Are you one of those? Because they have so many super. Everybody has like their own little superstitions yes. as they're getting prepared to perform or whatever. Do you have superstitions? When somebody says you're gonna get it, then I know I'm not gonna get it. I can't, I don't like when people are like, oh, you got this, you're gonna get it. So I'm like, take it back. Like every time my friends say that, I'm like, no, say the opposite. <laughs> no, you it's wanna weird. put out positive energy. You energy. do, but you don't wanna jinx it. If there's no, don't I don't it. believe that. See, I don't believe when people I say, know. well, I'm working on a new project, and I you just really can't tell you about my life because I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to tell you what it is because if I don't tell you what I'm doing, That's how right. can I, how, how will you be able to help me or let me know what you can do or what I can do to be of service to you? That's so it, not L.A. I love that, though. Look, I'm not L.A. I'm yeah. so politically incorrect. Yeah. I'm just ruined. I've got the same husband I came here with. You I know, love that. They, they're like, I, do you like the red carpet? I do. You I love it. Do you? I do. I love it. I hate it. Really? That is my least favorite thing about show business. Oh is the my red gosh. Carpet. No, it's fun. Hair, makeup, and wardrobe. That's, like, the best. that's Oh my God. That's the oh best. my God. Have you ridden in the limousine? Have they sent the car for you yet? I have gotten a car. Not yeah. a limo, but. Oh, wait till they send the limo. We're working up to okay. that. Oh, no. No. It's next. You got a star. <laughs> you got that. I told them, you want to send for me? Send a limousine for me because I have a Lincoln Continental. Yeah. So if I'm, you want to send a Lincoln, I drive my own car <laughs> and I can leave when I want to. You have, and it was like, oh no, send a limo for Mother Love because you know she will get up and leave. I'm, I'm too. <laughs> Look, I ain't got time to go through all them changes. You know, so, that. you, that's why you gotta an have an ultimatum. That, you know, I'm gonna leave if you don't send them. No, it's not an ultimatum. You know, and, and don't look at it that way because this business is about bargaining yes. and bartering. Yes. And it's not what you know, it's who you know and what they know about you. Very true. That's why you don't want to burn bridges unless oh, yes. you never, ever, ever intend to cross them. Yes. Just in life, though. Yeah. That's a life thing. <laughs> But they don't, people don't get that because yeah. some people get caught up in this business. What's going to keep you from getting caught up? Because you know, this is a sex craze, drug craze. That's, we could do anything. We could say anything and don't judge me business. Yes. 
<laughs> what do you think about that at 26? It's it's a lot, definitely, to take in, for sure. And coming from Virginia, where that is not the culture, it's definitely been different. But I think just you know, surrounding yourself with good people, family, friends. So when you go back, when you went back for Thanksgiving, you know, and all your friends and your family, they know that you're not, are you this big, huge movie no, star? and I love that. That's the best part, is they don't treat me any differently. It's amazing. That's the type of people you need in your life. But you don't, we, I'm going to tell you something that the great Quincy Jones taught me. And we're going to take a break, and when we come back, I'm going to tell you what Quincy Jones taught me when I first got here. And we'll be back.